Good morning. You guys, we were hit with like an ugly, ugly, ugly stomach bug um, that had us out from like last Thursday, I feel like until now. So uh, needless to say, I made a bit of adjustments to our schedule and now that we are feeling better, I am ready to get back into our unit and I thought I would just kind of do vlog style and um, try and document uh, what the next few days are going to look like adjusting um, to the unit study after I've already planned things out and things didn't exactly go the way that I wanted them to which is fine and my planning pages have been great for um, for me me being able to like adjust my schedule if things come up which things always come up don't they um i've got some dishes washing i did some chores i'm going to show you some of the projects that the kids have been working on well that's cool but it doesn't have it it does not color it has a chimney <laughs> a cardboard to a tree we've got a car here and we've got the houses here. He's currently looking up some more ideas for things to put inside of his house. He made a computer. This is his computer and he even has a place to charge it. This is his charger. And it even plugs. I can't see, move your hand. It plugs into the plug inside the house. He's got a window. It plugs into the computer. And it plugs into the computer. I love this. What about this? Awesome. <laughs> so if I come inside the house, it's a little tight, guys, but. Come on, get closer. Okay, scoot over. You can see his clock. He's made some food items as well cheese. jelly sandwich, mac and cheese, a pear, pizza. An egg, an apple, and another egg. Hello. Awesome job, bud. Hello. What is uh, that, bud? Is oh. Pepper. Pepper. I needed them to get everything off the floor so I could vacuum. He's in his house. He's in his house. You guys were building a community, and it's so exciting. Anyway, real life. I need to vacuum. to get this stuff cut out for them. It is way behind the time where I normally try to start at 10 o'clock. Let's talk about schedule for a moment, please. <laughs> I've been trying, you guys know that I've been trying to have a more structured schedule. And here's the thing about the schedule. It is against everything that we do naturally, everything that works well for us. But the reason why I wanted to implement the schedule is because I would like to have clear cut time frames for being able to get other things accomplished. Does that make sense? Um, yeah, I want to have clear cut time frames um, so that I know when I can get other things accomplished. So here's, here's what's going on with our schedule. It's like week two, two and a half of going by the schedule and I hate it. <laughs> Like, it bothers me. I feel like I'm always forcing us to do things at a certain time. And it just doesn't feel good. It doesn't feel right. But, okay, it has made um, keeping track of our progress. Does that make sense? It has made um, keeping track of our progress, like, so easy. Like, I feel like it has these downs because it's against what I would like to do. But... It also has major pros because I'm able to, I, I, I've, I've been able to get rid of a lot of the guilt that I feel throughout the day. Um, I don't know really how else to explain that. Like, I've just been able to get rid of a lot of the guilt because I know that, you know, we did our schoolwork in between the hours of 10 and whatever. Um, and then after I finish, I make sure I log all of our progress. Um, I upload all of our photos and videos and any notes and things like that. So I feel like I'm able to document what we're doing better. Basically, it has accomplished what I want it to, but it doesn't feel good for me. The kids are fine. Um, they learn and, and um, 
using whatever schedule or routine that I you know change us around to they are fine um, so really it's just about me and figuring out what is going to be you know most beneficial for me in this season or time period of my life and I want to carve out more time to be able to create um, and to get that stuff done without feeling burnt out or overwhelmed and I feel like the schedule is more conducive um, for me um, to be able to do that because I know that I'm getting school done within this time frame and then after school is over quote unquote it's not really over because we're still learning at all times and we take advantage of all opportunities you know it's constant it's like an everyday all you know all day thing um learning this for us but um i need to be able to say that i got this done during this time and now uh, i don't need to feel so guilty about spending this time to do what it is that I need to do. I'm rambling again. Hope that makes sense. This is just what it is. Um, that the other day, like 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 last night, um, Cameron came over to me and he wanted to show me something that he made. And I always feel this major guilt because I'm not like that attentive teacher mommy like I would be. I don't know at other times but by following the schedule I feel less guilt because I know that during the hours of this and this I was all there you know so I didn't feel so bad for saying hey bud like I need to get to that later I'm really interested but let's talk about it you know during this time frame I don't know how long this is going to continue because secretly I freak out like every night because I'm like I hate this schedule <laughs> like I hate this schedule but um but it is accomplishing what I wanted it to accomplish. It just doesn't feel natural because it's not natural because we naturally just kind of pick up, you know, pick up certain lessons when we want to pick them up throughout the whole day. But it makes it really difficult to be able to put, you know, the mommy, the teacher hat down so that you can put on a different hat, if that makes any sense. Anyway, right now, and this is what they're currently doing. So they're working on Ignitus. Ignitus is another app that uh, the boys used for a very long time before they basically maxed out of it. Um, I'm sure they have like uh, new things that they've added to the app since I stopped subscribing to it. But um, I, I just felt like Savannah would really benefit from it. So I went ahead and signed up for it again. And she is loving it so far. So um, it's like a... It's more of a math program. I don't know. I think they may have some reading elements in there. I don't know. I'll, I'll have to go and see because we haven't been subscribed to it for such a long time. So, going to do that. So, now I'm going to go and cut their cardboard boxes, which they're probably like, Mom, like, you supposed to do that a long time ago, but you keep chatting. So, let me go do that. <laughs> so, um, we're getting ready to get started. We are going to start where we left off. Um, and studying animals around the world and we were working on a uh, vulture wingspan project. What was your job, Kendall? My job was to, was to make a little mark when I see every six. Every half a foot? Yep. Good. Because we're measuring what? We're measuring a vulture. A vulture. What's the name of the vulture that we're measuring? We're talking about his wingspan. And Connor. Right, right. We are drawing this vulture's wingspan. Ten feet long. Ten feet wide. Ten feet wide. You're right. You're right, bud. He's putting the sticker on the animals that we learned about. In South America so far? I think so. Asia. What's that? Andy Tommy. Oh, we have to get the book. Where's the book? We need the book. To see. What does it say? Which way? Oh, next to the, yeah, next to the mountains now. Did you see what I left? Um so we're going to start there and I think we are now to the am the animals in the Amazon. Do you do you remember where the Amazon is? Mm -hmm. 
which continent it's on? Do you remember which continent it's on? South America. Yes, South America. So we we're going to get started with that. The kids have been doing such an awesome job on uh, building their houses, uh, which are gonna be a part of our community. And what I was trying to get to that I thought was so super cool is um, Kendall is now working on his house because Cameron kind of completed his house and then after they finish um, completing some of the structure, we're gonna go into the garage and we're gonna paint them. I have a lot of extra white paint um, from when we did redid the kids' rooms, which I still have to show you guys. But, um, so Kendall's working on his house and we just cut out a door and a window and some flowers. And so we got a window right here. He's added some flowers and, and I have a doorknob. they found a doorknob. So they found one of the pieces of Lego. Lego and we just glued the doorknob on so now the door actually opens and I made a key and then Cameron came in because he made a key so he made a key and this if you can see this Lego piece is the clear Lego piece that has this little tail end that then fits into how cool is that <laughs> so he's made a key to Kendall's house here and this is the type of stuff that I love. Anyway, I just wanted to interject and say that. We're getting ready to get out our project um, that I showed you earlier that we worked on. And we are going to start working on that and talking a little bit more about the um, animals in the Amazon rainforest. What continent have we been discussing? Amazon rainforest. The Amazon rainforest. What continent is it on? South America. Nice. What were the mountains that we were talking about? Andes Mountains. The Andes Mountains. And where are the Andes Mountains? Yeah, right, right. So the Andes Mountains were there and we talked about all of the animals on this side of the Andes Columbia. Mountains. So now we're gonna talk about the animals in the rainforest of South America. So let's get started. So we took out our wingspan, our vulture wingspan project. Baby that we have labeled and Cameron tiger. is finished this wing and now he's working on this wing. Yay, exciting. The Amazon rainforest of South America is the largest rainforest covering nearly 2.3 million square miles. Okay, so the sloth. The three-toed sloth sleeps by day and eats leaves by night, hanging upside down in a tree by its long, hooked claws. It can turn its head 270 degrees, so it can see all around. That is really weird. Just like an owl. Oh, yeah. You're so smart. <laughs> Kegor, and the Indian Flicker, Jaguar, Vacuna, Mountain Vishika, Pupidu, Hummingbird, Piranha, Macaw, Sloth, and Harpy Eagle. Okay, so those are the animals that we found where? Uh, South America. In South America. Finished up the Amazon rainforest. And now we're up to North America. So we put on all of our stickers. And now we're on where? North America. North America. Where's North America, bud? I thought Asia was next. I think North America's next. Cool. Yuck. Mmm. Savannah. Then he's out of the house, and here, here's the window, and here's the... Oh, oh I forgot the glass. <laughs> <laughs> How awesome is she? I feel like she's such an artist. So she is using her um, soft pastels, and I gave her these animals and just told her to go with it. So she's going to explain to me what this is. Because I don't quite know, but I'm sure she knows for sure. So I'm going to put the South America stickers away. Yeah, because we're going to finish up the vultures. And then we'll move on to North America tomorrow. Okay. But you can, you can get um, acclimated with the animals in North America. A silver flower. 
A meerkat? A meerkat? Yeah, that's from, that's from Africa, though. Oh, okay. Go on, bud. Good. Okay, so he's finished up his wings. And now he's coloring them in. It's looking good, buddy. He did the beak already. And he's working on the brown There's wings. There's an armadillo in North America. There's an armadillo in North yeah. America? Yep. So this is his vulture. It looks so good. And that is such a huge wingspan. So he's going to be responsible for coloring it all in. We've got lots of beautiful colors of soft pastel that he's going to be using for it. Done. <laughs> that looks wonderful, Mama. This looks amazing. Um, her name is at the bottom. That's awesome. Now, what is it, Mama? Hey. <laughs> Here's the giraffe, and here, here's my name. And here, here's the giraffe, and here's my other name, here's my other name. Okay, that's a giraffe. That's. And here's, here's the wall of the house, and here's the corner. Okay, that's beautiful. Can I hang this up? Not yet. Because not yet. Not You're not done. Okay. It's gonna be lots of mess to clean up, but it's worth it. It'll be worth I'm right it. I'm right here. I'm at eight. You're at eight feet? Okay, I got past eight feet now. <laughs> nice. Right. That's not worth it. Actually, I'm at nine feet. Okay guys, so um, we pretty much finished working on our project, all that we're gonna do for today. We probably worked on it for about 15, 20 minutes or so and then we got cleaned up. I should have had them put on their art clothes because we made a big mess and they had to put on new clothes. So um, we came back to the table and they have out their uh, binders and they've been working on quick a uh, quick paragraph about Jane Goodall, some of the things. I just wanted them to write down um, some of the things that they thought were interesting or some of the things that they wanted to remember. They basically just write down whatever they want. Um, they, they can remember from what we have been um, reading about. I'm about to read them a little bit more of one of our Jane Goodall books, one of our Jane Goodall books, um, while they color in their illustration. This one is going around in circles. <laughs> because that's just... That's just how life is. This is his illustration of Jane Goodall in his couple of sentences. Illustration of Jane Goodall in his sentences there. And then I am going to continue to read in this book here. I am just catching myself up on some of my plans just to make sure that I am on schedule. She's got, what's this word, Savannah? A. A, good job. Okay, and what is this word here, Savannah? M. Am good job. What about this word here? Um, C. No, at. 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 Good job. And what is this girl? DNA. DNA. <laughs> I'm in. Try it again. And. What's and? And. Um, and. And. Spell and. And. What goes first? No. D and A. No, I think this goes first. <laughs> a A A and D. Good. What is that? What is that word? And. And. Excellent job. So let's try again. You. A. M. Ooh. A. A. Good. And. Good job. High five. Good job, Mama. Ah. Oh my gosh, she's so dramatic. <laughs> okay. And let's take these out. Let's printed these off for her, just for a little extra and emphasis. I think she has one extra word in there. And I want you to match them. And okay, so what is this? What's that word? And. Good job. So let's put this on here. So she's gonna do that. Obviously, that's a little bit out of subject order, but that's what happens all day long. So, <laughs> and while they're finishing that up, I'll just check in with my schedule. 
we have been doing the vulture wingspan we did the south america andes and we just completed the amazon rainforest chatting about that a little bit just do our practice in duolingo in a little bit but right now we're currently on jane goodall because we have our good old books out here and while they color i'll read that and then um we're just going to finish off the day with a little organizing animals which is this here and then we're basically gonna call it a day. <laughs> gonna clean everything up, let them get back to working on their houses because that's what they're gonna do. And lessons will go on, they will continue. Look, so she's getting out the rest of her, her letters so that she can complete her R and her N. So that's basically our day for today. So I think I'm gonna end this vlog here and then we will start again tomorrow. So I hope you guys had a wonderful homeschool day or if you don't homeschool, I just hope you had a wonderful day um, learning today because there's so much to learn in this world of ours. And we will see you guys tomorrow. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you like this video. And we'll see you tomorrow. Bye guys. This is amazing. So this is Cam's Jane the dog. She studies chips. She lives in the forest. Study means that she is a scientist.